Someone did something very nice for me this week, and so I thought I would show my appreciation for their kindness by saying thank you. I could say thank you in person, or I could send an email or a text, but I thought I would make it extra special by sending a handmade card with a handwritten thank you inside. I could write a letter, but I'm gonna make this card. It will be one of a kind, just like them. When someone does something nice for you, you should thank them. I bet your mom or dad or grandparents or other grown-ups help you to remember to say thank you. They are really wise. Do you know why? Because they are helping you see God. Saying thank you makes us turn our faces towards God. Choosing to look at the world in the way that God looks at the world changes our hearts. We see things we didn't see before. We see love and grace and goodness and kindness and generosity. And all of those things are from God. And when we see them, we are seeing God. When the Lord blesses you, it's important to take the time to say thank you too. Giving thanks isn't a difficult thing. All you need to do is close your eyes, make your body and your mind quiet and say, God, thank you for your blessings. You know what he's done for you, so thank him specifically for every blessing. Often, when we say thank you for one thing, it's easier to think of another blessing and then another and another. Remember, when you say thank you, you're, you are being wise and helping other people to see God. This weekend, we have a whole day to celebrate seeing God. Isn't that awesome? Well, write down your thanks, phone someone, say it in person, th say thanks to God, and thank you to everyone around you. Let's say thank you together. Dear God, we are so thankful. We thank you for our church and our church family. We thank you for all the kids at St. Philip's. And most of all, we thank you for loving us. Amen. See you next time. Bye.